Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be taking a look at an educational game. Just like we used to back in the days, and then I kind of stopped for a while because they weren't really that popular. But, you know, as an educator, I really love to find games that do teach. And this is going to be one such game. Anyway, welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So, what is this we're taking a look at today? You may have actually seen other YouTubers play it because it's kind of ridiculous, yet at the same time kind of crazy, but it, it is educational and it's basically a series of games called Operate Now. You can kind of see them on the screen. This is from a web website called a10.com. Uh, now, I'm pretty sure there's actually quite a lot more I'm not seeing here, but these are just the ones I could find uh, right away for free. And basically, uh, these are games that help you get into the shoes of a, essentially, doctor, and you have to perform a surgery. And unlike uh, previous surgery games that usually focus on something fun or ridiculous, these are actually super accurate. Like, you actually genuinely learn what it's like to be a surgeon by playing these. So today, we're going to be a surgeon. And let's actually pick uh, a type of a surgeon we're going to be. There's actually quite a lot of choices here. We can, uh, you know, you can be an ear surgeon, which doesn't sound very exciting. You can be an appendix surgeon, basically removing appendices that became inflamed. And uh, not my thing, I think. No surgery, once again. Let's go for something more extreme. Let's go for, like, the nugget. The nugget surgeon, also known as the brain surgeon. I believe I actually saw it here, somewhere here earlier. I'm just going to take a look at this uh, and find it. Oh, there's actually several brain surgeons. Uh, there's one that uh, helps a girl with epilepsy, which is by itself a pretty cool topic to actually talk about. Um, and while I'm looking for the brain surgery, I might actually be able to tell you a little bit about it. Um, so basically, oh, here it is. Um, this right here, the epilepsy surgery, maybe I'll do this as a separate video actually. Uh, but basically the idea is um, people with epilepsy, extreme epilepsy, um, have actually been... Um, well, not tested, I want to say, I don't want to use the word tested, but they've been successfully treated with uh, a brain surgery where you essentially isolate and remove the part that usually is responsible for the epilepsy. And interestingly, um, well, I'm actually loading this, I'm going to tell you about this. Uh, okay, so play your, your, no, I don't want to play your surgery, I want to be a brain surgeon. All right, here we go, the game has now begun. Uh, but basically, yeah, the people that um, had... Warning this again, the game contains graphic depiction of surgery. Uh, people that had epilepsy uh, sometimes would have it in between the brains, so there's actually a little channel that connects two brains. And um, in those cases, those people would have that particular channel removed. And what's really interesting is that there were actually cases of people that were essentially, um, in a sense, split into two separate people. So if you actually isolate and remove the little channel connecting your brain, and I believe the name of this channel is Corpus Callosum. And it's actually this bridge right here that connects these two hemispheres. And cutting them in, in half creates literally two people inside the same body. There's actually videos online you can actually find. And I remember seeing them back in college, back when I was taking psychology, of people that had this surgery. And they would literally act like two different people inside the same body. They would even fight with each other. Like, imagine your right hand trying to punch you in the face because it disagrees with what the left side of the body did. Pretty crazy, pretty intense. But anyway, we're actually getting off track here. This is the girl we're going to be operating on. Her name is Leia. She's suffering from aneurysm in her brain. Uh, one of the blood vessels in the center of her brain is filling with blood. This causes headaches and double vision. We found the exact spot where the aneurysm is located, so let's operate immediately. Let's begin. This is going to be fun. Uh, this is actually my first brain surgery. So first, as a, as a person with a medical degree, I have to decide which door to go into. Hmm, is this where the brain is? is, is which one is the... That is... Okay, I, I spoke too soon. This game is supposed to be educational. I didn't think it would be a multiple choice of from duh to stupid. Um, anywho, moving on. So let's go in here. Uh, so, good work, doctor. You chose the right door. <laughs> yes, you're the right doctor to operate on this girl. Now you need to... If only medical school was that easy, like, you literally just have to pick a door with the right picture. Now we need to inject the intravenous anesthetic. Please select the syringe from the table. Uh, oh, that's so cool. Okay, so I need to fill the syringe with anesthetic. Very good, doctor. You've do you're doing well. Uh, fill the needle with enough anesthetic for the procedure. Pay attention to the marks on the bottle. 
Oh, I guess I can maybe just maybe kill her. How much do I have to give her? How much do I have to give her? Oh, maybe it'll give me. It'll tell me right now. Here we go. It just did it automatically. Now apply the injection. Oh, where do I do that? Maybe in the circle that you pointed at? So far, so good. So far, I'm doing well. Good work, doctor. Now we must wait four seconds for the anesthetic to take effect. Not sure how that's how anesthetics work. I don't think it's four seconds. Although maybe. Uh, usually, I think it's, it's, it's anywhere up to a minute. We must start by cutting the patient's hair. Oh, oh I didn't want to sign up for this. Select the scissors from the table. Okay, so we're gonna have a miniature hairdressing simulator. But first, we're gonna take a drill. Oh, that's not the right tool. Okay, so it does have points here, and I just need to choppy choppy hair. That's that's a cool haircut. Oh wow. Oh wow, this is actually a good style for her. Pick up the shaving cream from the table. Oh, okay, so we're really shaving her cream, uh, her, her whole head. Okay, so what do I do? What do I? What do I? What do I? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, shake it until it's ready to be applied. Oh, I should read more. And here we go. And here we go. Drag and drop. She looks like a British royalty, and or a judge. Okay, now uh, pick up razor from the table. Um, and shave her head. All right, doing well. All right. She's gonna wake up with a completely new haircut. Something that she didn't expect would happen to her. And uh, something that she didn't pay for. Now we must sterilize the area on the scalp. We'll perform the procedure on. Uh, pick up the tongs from the table. Pick up the cotton ball. Grab the cotton ball and dip it in the anti. Did I do it? Okay. Apply antiseptic. Oh, that's so cool. Huh. Pick up the marker from the table. And draw a face. I can't. This game doesn't have enough freedom. I wish I had more freedom. It's a little bit too scripted. But it is a pretty cool tool for like, you know, uh, for people that want to learn more about medicine. Select the scalpel. And cutty, 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 cutty. Cut, cut, cutty, 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 cutty. Oh, 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 I re regret doing this. I accidentally opened the window by clicking too fast. Oh no, the timer, there's a timer. Uh, now cut the muscle to gain access to the skull. Oh, this is really cool. Now it's, we're getting more anatomical. So there's a muscle right underneath your scalp that uh, basically helps the brain with stuff. Pick up the drill from the table. Oh, that's like the worst part. Oh, uh, that sound. Uh, no, t two more times, really? Uh. This is horrible. This sounds are horrible. This is what it's like to be a brain surgeon. Don't do it, guys. Don't do it. Good work. Now pick up the surgical saw. Oh my god, saw. Okay. Where is the saw? What? Oh, here. Uh, and... Oh my god, that sound is killing me. That is a, that is a horrible, horrible job. <laughs> I would never want to be a surgeon. To make the incisions through the dura mater, which is the harder part of the um, outside brain, we need to use the scalpel. Please pick up the scalpel from the table. Thank you for explaining, lady. I wish all nurses were so helpful. There's all these layers inside. She's like an onion. She has layers and she makes me cry. Anyway, enough jokes. This is a serious business. Select the retractors from the table. Um, oh, I know what, she, what he's gonna do. Yeah, you have to separate the brain and find the location of the aneurysm. Well, use a microscope to look inside the skull. Okay, uh, first we must separate it from the blood vessels. Select the dissector from the table. Wow, that's pretty crazy. I didn't know that's how you do it. Select the clip from the table. I guess we're gonna pick it up. Oh, just gonna clip it first, okay. Good job, doctor. You're doing well. We must close the incision. A... What does that mean? Please remove the retractors from the patient's head. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, oh, that's it? Wait, uh... I'm a little bit confused about the situation here. Did I just not leave a piece of something inside her head? I guess... Oh, I see, okay, I see what happened. So they left a clip to prevent aneurysm from spreading and getting bigger. Essentially... Isolating it. So I'm guessing over time it's going to fall off, but... Do... Not the drill again, are you kidding me? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. We have one minute left. Okay. Place the bone back in the patient's skull. Oh. Oh, that's how it's done. Wow, that's pretty cool. This is kind of like almost like fixing a computer, except it's a human brain. Screwdriver. What's next? You're gonna have a cooler installed and uh, apply some paste. Pick up the screws. This is pretty, uh, pretty cool. This is pretty intense. So I have 40 seconds left before the girl is in trouble. I need to hurry up. I am not doing a good job here. Okay, next. Needle from the table. Sew the thing. All right, I'm, I'm actually kind of losing here, so I need to hurry up, hurry this up. Okay, 14 seconds. Come on, so faster. I know that's not the right word, but so faster. Are we done? We're almost done. Pick up the bandaid. Oh, she's smiling already. She's like, "Yay! You, you're you made me not so brain sick anymore." Oh, come on! She was smiling. I was at the fifth part with the bandaid. Hey, you made a mistake, doctor. The operation must be stopped. How was that a mistake? Okay, well, so the game is a little bit intense, but we all, we're all we almost there. I think I'm, I'm not sure about is actually, um, why do we leave a piece of clip inside? Does it dissolve over time? Maybe this is something I will need to look up. I don't know enough about surgery to know what they did there. But we're totally going to quickly replay this and basically see what happens if you do finish the game. So I just kind of restarted this and here we go. Wow, I'm really struggling with this bandage. Uh, here we go. Is this the end? You've done a great job, Doctor. I'm sure the patient will recover in no time. Yay! Yay! I have made no mistakes this time. Uh, thanks, Doc. So, uh, so many questions. Specifically about... Uh, oh, I can play as an intern. Or as a specialist. Specifically about what exactly happens with that clip at the end. Maybe if you do know, leave it in the comments below so that people can actually find out. Is, does it dissolve? Or do you have to come back and take it out? Because it did look like a piece of metal. Anyway, so this is basically Operate Now, a pretty cool series of games. Maybe we'll try one more uh, later on if, if you guys would like to see more of these. But I do personally think these are crazy cool, they're definitely educational, and most importantly, they're not too difficult. They actually do teach you about a little bit about medicine, but at the same time, give you enough to kind of maybe look up yourself later on. Especially for those of you who want to one day become doctors. And anyway, so that's all I wanted to do in this video. I just wanted to show you these series of educational games from a10.com. Check them out. They're all free and they're available in the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Come back tomorrow to learn something else and possibly find out something else about something you may have not known before. And space out. And as always, bye-bye.